Chapter 8 Cyber Ethics Learning Outcomes At the end of this chapter, students will be able to Comprehend the concept of cyber security and ethics Recognize the several kind of risk related to the internet Know about piracy and its types Warm up Observe the following picture and continue the conversation. Teachers note, guide students that everything they see on the internet is not true. You have to be very careful while sharing the video with others. Hello friends, let us learn some cyber ethics and ways to protect ourselves online. When computers were first used, there were not any guidelines or requirements on how to use them. This led to various issues. But when their use spread in every aspect of our lives, it became essential to establish some guidelines. At the national and international levels, many of these regulations have been qualified as laws. The ethical use of computing resources is ensured by computer ethics. It outlines techniques for avoiding breaking trademark and copyright laws. Furthermore, it addresses the unauthorized dissemination of digital content. We must follow all the standards which have been set for the appropriate use of the internet. It should not be used for wrong and illegal purposes. Available risk on the internet. We must educate ourselves on the risk associated with using the internet as responsible users. Lose of confidentiality of information. Hackers are those who take advantage of a computer network or system flaws. They are able to breach a computer's poor security. Hackers take advantage of computer system to steal important data. They steal this material to strike revenge on others, gain fame or for financial gain. Hackers have caused organization all over the world, significant financial losses. Fake Information it is quite challenging to verify the accuracy of the information because there is so much of it available online. On social networking platforms, many internet users create fake accounts. They think they can disseminate rumors in this way and get away with it. Rumors have frequently ignited riots and haters in the past. These rumors are disseminated via various social media apps. Make sure to check the information from reliable online sources or question individuals you trust before you believe any kind of information. Let me answer. Have you ever come across any fake information? Computer virus. Make professional organization use the internet to do their business online in the 21st century. Companies and governmental organizations both save their important information online. In order to disrupt this knowledge, individuals who want to steal or destroy it construct a lethal virus. One of the most popular methods used by these individuals to propagate the infection is the internet. Cyber crime. Cyber crime is any crime that is committed using the computer and the internet where the computer may be the target. Tool both. They involve criminal activities such as theft, fraud, fraudery, and defamation. Cyber crimes are addressed by the Information Technology Act 2000. Cyber policies take care of cyber crimes. Cyber stalking. Stalking is the recurrent practice of unwanted monitoring or harassment with the intent to manipulate or influence the victim. Online and offline stalking are both against the law. Let me answer. What can be the ill effect of cyberbullying? Cyberbullying The act of harassing a person through electronic media is known as cyberbullying. In this case, the attacker uses intimidating message to attempt to corner the victim. Identity theft It is a type of cybercrime when the culprit creates a foil identity in order to obtain financial benefits like credit cards and loans. Among other things, they borrow money from a financial institution fail to repay it and inflict significant financial losses on the institution in the name of another person. For example, fraudsters can copy your Aadhaar card information or bank genitals and get the loan cleared in our name. Remember it, there is a hacker attack every 39 seconds. Spamming You must have noticed when looking through your mailbox that there are numerous emails from unidentified email addresses. Who is the sender of these emails and how did they get our email addresses? The majority of contemporary browsers 
come with an internal application that can recognize these emails and put them in a different folder. Spam is the term of these unwelcome emails. They are generally spent in large number for commercial advertising. Spamming involves sending the same message to email users all over the world in millions. Since spam may be used to spread malware such as Trojan horses, viruses, worms, spyware and coordinated target phishing attempts, it poses a major security risk. Do you know? Spam account for 14.5 billion messages globally per day. In other words, spam make up 45% of all emails. Cyber Security Any computer that is connected to the internet is exposed to a wide variety of technological dangers. We cannot ignore the reality that we constantly feel scared by the idea that the computer genius may utilize WS method to learn crucial information about your financial situation, interfere with it, or otherwise misuse it. This is where cybersecurity steps in, because it tries to protect sensitive data. Computer security is crucial. It tries to protect the confidentiality, integrity, and accessibility of important data kept on computers. Using passwords. It's crucial to use passwords properly since they serve as your first line of security against hackers and imposters. Follow some of the tips given below. Never disclose your password to a third party. Never use the same password across all the accounts. Make passwords that are simple to remember yet difficult to decode. The password must include at least 12 characters, including capital letters, digits, and symbols. Make sure your device have anti-malware software and are secure. Use a fingerprint or password on your phone as well. Safely accessing websites. Our lives have been completely transformed by the internet, which now allows us to read the news, watch movies, conduct researches, plan our vacation, buy and sell, and perform a variety of other daily tasks. However, it comes with a lot of risk that could arise from a viewing malicious website or unintentionally disclosing sensitive information. Malware which includes both spyware and viruses may be involved. Some points to be kept in mind while accessing a website. When using the website, use common sense. Verify the website's address, contact information and email addresses to ensure its legitimacy. The URL of a website might look authentic. Keep an eye out for slight spelling variations. Use the most recent version of your browser and antivirus software. Always keep in mind to log out of the website after finishing your transaction. Kids IQ Which thing will you keep in mind while creating a password? Let's recall. The ethical use of computing resources ensured by computer ethics. Hackers are those who take advantage of a computer network or system flaws. Cybercrime is any crime that is committed using the computer and the internet. Talking is the recurrent practice of unwanting monitoring or harassment with the intent to manipulate or influence the victim. Any computer that is connected to the internet is exposed to a wide variety of technological dangers. Never use the same password across all the accounts. Upskill your intelligence. A. Fill in the blanks. 1. The ethical use of computing resources is ensured by Dash. Answer. Computer ethics. 2. Cyber ethics addresses the Dash dissemination of digital content. Answer. Unauthorized. 3. Dash are those who take advantage of a computer network or system flaws. Answer. Hackers. 4. Companies and governmental organizations both save their Dash information online. Answer Important. 5. Identify theft is a type of cybercrime which the culprit creates a Dash identity. Answer False. B. Write T for true statements and F for false statements. 1. Cybercrime is an act of crime in which a computer system is used to commit an offense. Answer True. 2. The internet leads to the exchange of mobiles. Answer False. 3. Hackers steal crucial information from a computer system. Answer True. 4. Blocking someone who is stalking you on the web is a crime. Answer False. 5. In spamming, millions of the messages are sent to different email users. 
answer true c answer the following questions one what is cyber stalking answer cyber stalking is the recurrent practice of unwanted monitoring or harassment with the intent to manipulate or influence the victim online and offline stalking are both against the law two what do you mean by identity theft answer identity theft is a type of cyber crime in which the culprit creates a false identity in order to obtain financial benefits like credit cards and loans among other things 3 define spamming answer spamming involves sending the same messages to email users all over the world in millions since spam may be used to spread malware such as trojan hoses viruses worms spyware and coordinate targeted phishing attempt it poses a major security risk 4 what things to be kept in mind while accessing websites answer some points to keep in mind while accessing a website when using the website use common sense verify the website address contact information and email address to ensure its legitimacy the url of the website might look authentic keep an eye out for slight spelling variation use the most recent version of your browser and antivirus software always keep in mind to log out of the website after finishing your transaction 5 what is cyber security answer any computer that is connected to the internet is exposed to a wide variety of technological dangers cyber security tries to protect sensitive data computer security confidentiality integrity and accessibility of important data kept on computers critical thinking your friend's fake id has been created with his profile picture and details and the person is asking for money from his friends as a friend what step would you take in the case answer ask students to do it by themselves team work make a poster in ms word on cyber security answer ask students to do it by themselves